for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And before I get into this video, it has been crazy for me. Like, I don't even know what to say about what's happened to my channel in the past few days. I went from making 100 views, getting about 100 to 150 views per video on a good video, to my my videos start getting 1,000 views per video. My first my video from a few days ago has over 3,000 views. My last two videos have over 1,000. I don't know what just happened to my channel. It just blew the hell up. I'm... I just so you guys know, as of speaking, since I woke up this morning, I'm about I'm up 80 subs since I woke up this morning. 80 subs I'm up. It used to take me oh two weeks, three weeks to get 80 subs. I've gotten it since I've woken up, and all I did today was go to go to go to the gym and eat breakfast. That's all I've done today, and I gained 80 subs. Is this what it feels like to be like, like that? What a big YouTuber feels like? You just sit there and gain subs? Like this is wild. I don't know, but thank you guys so much. You guys are helping the blow up. Like we are blowing up, legitimately. In a few more days, we will be at 1,000 subs. Tell me another Madden YouTuber that has blown up this fast in this community. I see people doing this for years. And they're not even 1,000. You're like, this is just crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's me and you guys just love what I'm giving you guys. Or if you guys just sure, you guys are just great fans and supporting me. I'm hoping it's the second one because I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this on you guys. You guys did this. You guys are truthfully... Help me blow up. This is crazy. I want to thank you guys so much. Every single person that has subbed in the last few days, you will not regret it. You guys are on for a journey. And like I've been saying, you guys are going to be able to get to, you guys are going to be able to get to say a few years down the road. Like Zerk's seen all them now and I'm there. You guys are going to be able to say, I was here first. You're going to be able to DM me. I'm going to still be answering because I'll remember the OGs. Remember that. Remember that. You guys are going to say I'm here first. I see you guys. Everyone's commenting. I love it. Everyone's commenting. I was here first. I'm in the first. Th everyone's commenting. I was here first. Don't forget. I won't forget. Trust me. I have a great memory. I will not forget you guys. Don't worry, I'm appreciating every- If you guys are awesome, every person watching this video, let's get to a thousand subs in this week. My goal was May. I might have it this week. That is ridiculous. But right, let me get into this video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a free combine player. This might be common knowledge to many. But as I've learned from making my videos, nothing's common knowledge because not everyone has the time and resources to spend on this game all day. Some people didn't know about Rookie Premiere. Understandable. Most people quit Madden by that point in the year, right? Very understandable. Now... Again, you have, to take into, you have to take into account that not everyone sits on this game that long. Not everyone puts that much thought. Some people just come on just to play the game. You get what I'm saying? So for those of you who don't know, they have the new house rules. Now, have I done it yet? No. I'm debating whether or not I need this card. Because I don't think 10 games is worth it for me because I can't use this card. Is it good for scouts? Yes. Now, I have about... I have five wins already? Oh, no, no. Okay, I was going to say I didn't play five games. That would have been cool. I think I have about three wins. I think I played about three of them. Now, is it worth it for everyone? Yes. Would I do it right now? Yes. Now, for me, myself, I have a lot of coins. A 97 probably wouldn't start on my team. That's not trained up. So, for me, personally, I probably won't finish this. I think I'd rather go do something else with my time, create more videos for you guys. But, is it worth it? 100%. A 97 overall, you can get an Odell, sadly. And if any of you guys comment Odell, on the, I will dislike it. I will dislike it if you guys comment anything about Odell down below. I don't want to hear it. I have an Odell plaque right there, an Odell jersey right there, another Odell jersey over there, and another one in my closet. I have an Odell pop right here. I don't, I'm don't. i beyond upset. We still got Saquon, but besides the point, you can get an Odell from the, the pack. You can get a Pat Pete. You can get an end game card out of this pack, and it's not even 10 games. Like You don't, you don't have to win consecutively. The hard part about challenges this year, these challenges have been winning consecutively because madden's matchmaking is very weird you know games one through three you kill the kids game three through six you get a competitive top 100 player it's how the cookie crumbles in this game right now this time around it's not win 10 games straight it's just win 10 games literally if you really want to do what i'm about to say you guys just join a game you feel the kid out for one second right you feel him out is he really good leave this kid oh this kid sucks i'll make him quit Play the game. Make him quit by the first quarter. Next game, this kid's going to be hard. Leave. You could literally, if you really wanted to, leave every game that you feel that's going to be too competitive. That's going to be a competitive game that you don't want to waste your time on. Just leave it. Only play kids you know you're going to beat real fast because you can literally get this out in like two, three hours if you just only verse kids that you can beat quickly and get a quick out of. But if you're versing a kid that feels like he's going to be like even with your level, just quit because honestly, it helps them out. They probably don't want to be playing the game. They just want to get through this. And for you, it saves time for everyone. Now, am I advocating quitting? No. I'm saying if you have, you know, I know I have to guys understand like quitting is not a good thing at all, but people have work, people have families, people have lives. They can't dedicate their day to these stupid house rules. 
they can't bid themselves CA. So I understand if an adult who gets home at 10 o'clock from work with the family and kids only has two hours to play this and that's not gonna cut it. We'll work the next morning. So just go in there, my advice, go in there. If they feel, just quit, just quit if it's hard. Just quit, <laughs> I have no, nothing wrong with that, just quit. The other guy's gonna be happy because they probably wanna quit, truth be told. And you probably want to quit too because you can just get, you know, you, everyone wants to quit sometimes. On seasons and weekend league, no, sometimes you enjoy playing your games. You know, it's fun to, it's fun to compete. But this, these aren't about competing. This is purely about people getting their card and getting the hell out. This is a business move. Now, you only need 10 wins. You don't have to get them consecutively. So just get your 10 wins. Rack them up, rack them up, rack them up. It's very easy. Now, what you have to do is, the challenge is kind of weird. It's every, every first, every down starts at first and five. But you only get two down. So pretty much every down, you start off on third down. Which is very, it's a very weird idea. Because in football, the whole, the, when you have four downs, it's very cool. Because first down, you could gain yards. Second down, you can go for the first down, you can gain more yards, and third down, you go for the first. This play, literally, you have to get the first down every play. So it's like it's like a it's like a blitz mode almost, like not the blitz mode you're thinking of, like a, like a Madden blitz where everything's quick, quick, quick. Like literally, every play has to go past the first down marker in order to not be on fourth down. Now, it's not too hard. It's kind of cool actually because people actually are punting, or everyone's. I love it. People are going for it. I love it. People are going for it. Every play is a fourth down. And you just got, all you gotta do is clamp up the flats. Everyone's going for the flat plays and the runs. You clamp that up on the fourth down. And it's, it's simple. People are turning the ball over in the 20s. I'm just scoring on them wild. And I take my field goals. I'm playing soccer right now, literally. I, just, I, I, I clamp them up in their half of the field, kick a field goal, field goal, field goal. Robbie Gould, I, I rack up that score real fast. So very simple to play. My recommendation is to beat it if you guys wanna know. Don't go for it. Cause if you go for it in your own half, you're probably not gonna get it. Now, second, also you don't have to get that far. You can just quit, like I said. But if it's not, if it's too hard. But anyways, or go for it. If you don't get it, you just leave. But I recommend you just keep going for it, going for it, passing, just pass the pass. And if they're not gonna, if they're gonna cover the pass, run it. Very simple. Just read what they're doing, and then also kick your field goals. Kick your field goals. I promise you, when you play two down football, if you kick three straight field goals off their turnovers and they keep turning the ball, eventually they're just gonna quit. They're gonna get frustrated. They can't do anything. People, some people can't play three down football. It's a hard. I mean, some people can't play four down football. You think they can play two? And realistically, one, some people don't like, people get too nervous to do it on fourth down. They struggle. People people choke on fourth down. Some people only have one down. There's a one down challenge. So that's about it. I kind of dragged this out a little bit. So what you guys probably want to get out of this, I recommend if you get the option, take a Pat Pete uh, or an Odell. But obviously this all comes down, all comes down to what you guys are comfortable with and what works for your team. But if I had to pick one, I would want, this is a bad place to be, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to say anything here. I would want Odell. I'd want even the kicker or punter. I take it because I don't have it. I'm never going to buy those kickers or punters. So if they give it to me, I don't care. It's free. But for a team that just does, that doesn't have a lot of coins and they just want to build the best team they can get right now, Odell, Patrick Peterson, must. And if you can get a limited time card, I don't I don't think you can. But if you could, that's cool too. I don't think you can though. It's got it's got to be. But my, my two favorite are Odell and Pat Pete, hands down. So I don't want to waste any more of your time. This video is about how to get the free player. I think I covered that and how to beat it. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm loving all the support. If you guys could, let's get this video to 100 likes. You guys have been killing it. Like my likes, my last two videos, I went from getting eight likes a video to 70. Like if you guys get this video to 50 to 100 likes, anywhere between there, I will be happy. And if you're still watching at this point, drop a sub. If you've enjoyed it, if it helped you out, you guys won't regret it. I assure you, as you can see, no one's going to regret dropping this up because we're up, we're up next. We're blowing up right now and I'm loving every bit of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.